What's up guys, Jimmy here with another video. I've got a few different topics that I want to talk about. 2013 just started, but there's some really cool things that I want to bring up to your guys' attention. Um, first off, this week, the voice actor, Eric Todd Dellums, who is the Galaxy News Radio DJ in Fallout 3, on his Twitter account, he stated that um, for all the Fallout 3 and Three Dog fans out there, there might be more of the dog coming. And you know, there's a lot of uh, voice actors that release information or developers that release information when they shouldn't, and sometimes it's, it's not exactly accurate. But then later on in, in his Twitter account, he stated on how, how's that for his tease? I was given the green light, or he was, he was authorized to give that tease. Um, and so he said, fingers crossed. So, you know, I am guessing that Fallout 4 information, more information, that's almost like a confirmation to me. But in regards to Fallout 4, I think we're going to be getting some updates sooner than later. So I'm really, really excited uh, for that. That's very unusual. Bethesda um, doesn't release a whole lot of information like this um, or authorizes information to be released like this so I thought it was kind of a cool way to kind of tease Fallout 4. Really excited for that game. Um, but the game that was released this week that I wanted to quickly talk to you about was Anarchy Reigns. This is a game that actually was released a while back in Japan um, and it's by Platinum Games. I love Platinum Games. They're the ones that are responsible for the excellent Bayonetta in um, Vanquish games and uh, they're, they're working on some really important games as well and next month they're going to be releasing Metal Gear um, Rising Revengeance. They are working on Wonderful 101, they're working on Bayonetta 2, um, there might be, there's probably some other stuff. But anyway, Anarchy Reigns. Now, I want to talk to you guys about this mainly because a lot of people don't know about it. First of all, just to let you guys know, it is not a $60 release, um, and depending on what region you're in, I notice on the Amazon UK, it's not a full price game. It seems like whatever region you're in right, right now, it is a new game. I'm not sure, I know at least in the States it was just released this week, I'm not sure which regions it was released, um, I'm not sure if it was released this week as well. So it is a $30 game in the States um, at my local game stop where you know a lot of games sell really well. Like only I think three people had this game on pre-order. A lot of people didn't know about it. I don't Sega didn't do a very good job marketing for this one. Um, is it worth picking up? Um, if you're into like Bayonetta or if you're into insane beat-em-ups, hack and slash, games that are really fun check out Anarchy Reigns. Guys, this game is excellent. Um, I had the chance to go online with it and there's, um, I got to play the survival mode basically where um, you get to have three player co-op and go against waves after waves of enemies. Very fun. I was able to set up some custom matches and uh, actually I was able to pre-order the game at GameStop so I got the Bayonetta uh, character um, and oh man, I just felt right at home. It was like I was playing a, a Bayonetta game. Um, you could pick up items, you could pick up motorcycles, you could pick, pick up gas, drums, um, you could pick up cars and toss them at other enemies. It is just so awesome, so excellent. Of course, there is a campaign. I got to play a f two or three hours of the campaign. It is a little bit repetitive at time, times, but there's a lot of great special moves to pull off. Um, and a lot of the humor is tongue in cheek. And uh, yeah, guys, definitely check out Anarchy Reigns if you haven't already. And if, if you're not too sure, I mean, I mean, it is a, a budget title game for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure on the details um, on why it's not a full price game, but it's, it's definitely worth the price uh, of admission, in my opinion. It's got an excellent um, multiplayer offering and the campaign I'm having fun with so far. The final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, was Gears of War Judgment, which is going to be coming out this March. So apparently, there's not a whole lot of love for this game. I know some of you guys are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it too, but it's being developed by uh, People Can Fly. I believe that's the name of the developer. They're the same folks that are responsible for Bulletstorm. There seems to be not a lot of love for 
Pierce Award Judgment, and I'll explain why. Um, now, I understand that this isn't a full-fledged, like, this isn't Gears of War 4, or I understand this isn't, like, as big as Gears of War 3. I wasn't expecting it to be. However, there are a lot of Gears of War fans out there, and just to kind of put things in compa comparison, um, there is a site I went to. I know a lot of people aren't too keen on it because they think it's that not that not that reliable, and that is uh, VGCharts.com. And they did kind of like a comparison on um, pre-orders, and apparently, at with so Gears of War Judgment has 11 weeks before the game is released. Okay, and when Gears of War 3 was going to be released, 11 weeks prior to the release, it had over 800,000 copies pre-ordered. Okay, so it's been, you know over a year since Gears of War 3 was released, there's a lot, there's millions more Xbox 360 consoles, okay? So, we have 11 weeks before Gears of War Judgment is released. Can you guess how many people have pre-ordered it, approximately? Just over 65,000 copies. Uh, less than a tenth the amount of pre-ordered copies of Gears of War 3 at the same time period, with 11 weeks in, for the game to be released. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of people don't know about it. You know, in my opinion, I feel if it fails um, the release, if the release is a failure, I feel that much of that failure will be upon the shoulders and heads uh, of Microsoft. I think they won't be, I, I think they're just not doing a good job marketing the game. I think they did an excellent job marketing Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3, getting the word out there. They're not doing that great of a job judgment maybe they'll pick things up but the game's gonna be out in a couple months and so I'm hoping that the game is a success mainly because if you're into the Gears of War multiplayer and you know not, not a lot of people order it you're gonna be waiting in those lobbies um, but anyway guys those are the three things I want to talk about Fallout 4 Anarchy Reigns and Gears of War Judgment. Let me know your thoughts on, any, on anything that I talked about today. And uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want, to, want me to make more of these types of videos, update videos, uh, definitely leave a thumbs up um, so I can know to make more of these. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.